Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod video. This will be my last specific mod video. I have covered pretty much everything I wanted to for a new playthrough in the next gen update. I will continue to make some more videos for a little while, but it will be going over just more popular mods or recent mods you might be interested in trying out. However, in this one, we're going over the player and companions and giving you some ideas for improving the look and gear of your team before you head out into the Commonwealth. One mod I haven't included in this video is one that will retext your skins of NPCs and your followers or your character, because unfortunately everyone I have tried out since the update has broken the game, so I have to skip over them, but I would have installed them if I could get one of the good ones to work. I just wanted you to know. Let's begin. The first mod is Nora Companion. This mod allows you to have your wife as a companion. Instead of her dying at the start in Vault 111, you can find her at the start of the game and have her as a companion instead, which is nice. After the catalog sequence at the beginning of Fallout 4, you reawaken from cryo sleep and notice instead your wife's pod is empty. After exiting Vault 111, you are given the opportunity to find your spouse and reunite with her, and so you can find Sean together. And she works just like any other companion would in the game. So she's a fully voiced companion, has a short intro recruitment quest, end game dialogue for Nora as well, companion dialogue and interjections and interrupts when you talk to other NPCs, has a complete affinity system with the game, her perks will work just normally. She has environmental commentary, has the ability to lock, pick, and hack, and like I said, she will just be a regular companion. Simple male reddix and CBBE. To make my male character look a bit better, I have the simple male reddix mod. It adds better younger male textures, better skin textures, reduces patchy colors, smoother skin, better ab definition, cleaner underwear, cleaned up normal maps, includes buff and less buff variations. To go with this, for female characters, I've installed CBBE body mod. You can either have curvy or thin, and this is a decent mod, but the main reason that you want to install this is a lot of armor mods don't work unless you have this mod installed. The Modern Warfare 2022 Shadow Company Outfit Pack. This adds to the game nine Shadow Company armors from Call of Duty, and I really like the look of them for my character, and I've shown you some of the other ones here on my followers. You can simply craft them at the camp station in the game, and if you're wanting a more military style, a modern military style vibe to the game, then this is a great mod. And while the options are not huge, I really like the way that these look on my followers and my character. And the file size isn't too big either. K9 Harness, Tactical Body Armor and Backpack for dog meat. So to go with this mod, I have the K9 Harness for dog meat, so he fits in. And it's a modular body mod armor with different meshes and textures for dog meat designed after modern day military and police K9 unit harnesses featuring craftable side pouches, backpack, ballistic weave, faction patches and various colors and patterns. Each component can be added, removed or customized at the standard armor workbench, giving you a huge variety of options. Class A Chassis Craftable Outfits now I know guys, while these outfits might not be for some of you, the more modern ones, I have also included some different types of one as well. And I also know for a fact some of you prefer your characters, especially female ones, to wear something more revealing. So I've covered that as well in the video. And I went with something that changes the vanilla outfits instead of adding new ones. I haven't gone too skimpy though here with classy chassis craftable outfits makes essentially more revealing versions of in-game vanilla outfits, and these can all be crafted at the cam station and modded at the armor workbench. In total, there are 65 outfits you can equip for your followers. This version includes all three additions from a PC version called Saucy Settlers, Vul Vulgar Villains, and Foxy Factions, and includes Wastelander, Raider, Gunner, Children of Atom, Brotherhood of Steel, Railroad, and Institute outfits that will all be changed in the game. You will also need to include the CBBE body mod and AWKCR version 4.02 for this mod to work. Modular Leather Armor To go with this mod, I have installed a mod that adds in leather armor pieces to the game in separate pieces called Modular Leather Armor. The mod deconstructs the three tiers of leather armor into 20 individual components, from which you can construct custom armor sets. Wear heavy shoulders with the fin, add elbow pads to the light armor and so on. Change up the colors of the leather, stitch, metal and a degree of wear. Create a nearly limitless number of customized armor sets for your companions and your settlers. And I added this so the armor pieces could be equipped to the female characters who are wearing their more revealing things, because I didn't want them to be completely armorless in the game. Armorsmith Extended. This mod allows you to equip those armor pieces while keeping your clothes equipped. And I've done it for the female armors, but you can use this for any of the armors in game where you can equip clothing and armors at the same time 
greatly increasing your options for outfits in the game. NCR Veteran Ranger Armor a heavy, modifiable, iconic armor straight from the west coast and the most elite of the formidable NCR rangers. To find the armor, go to Kellogg's home in Diamond City. He keeps it in his safe. It can also be found in the Lonely Chapel, which is on the left-hand side of the map, kind of in the middle. And the riot gear can be found in the Commonwealth Bank. Holstered Weapons by Azar. This mod adds holstered weapons for your Fallout 4 male and female characters. Includes the 10mm hip, 10mm thigh, holstered rifle, holstered shotgun, holstered shotgun and rifle, shotgun and rifle backpack with 9 different colour options, modular backpack with 9 different colours and 7 weapon colours. They can be created at the wet cam station or bought from Malia, a new vendor who can be found on the main road from Concord. All the items provide a minor armour bonus. The backpacks can give plus 50 carry weight bonus. The modular backpacks consist of a base backpack, a left attachment and a right attachment. And basically it just makes your characters look a lot more realistic. They have visible weapons and backpacks on them. SIG MCX. So onto weapons and for a modern weapon to go with the modern armors that we have, I chose the SIG MCX. There are literally tons of cool military weapon mods and this is just the one I chose because of the file size for the base weapon but you can choose to install additional mods to go with this if you want more modern weapons, but I just didn't want to have an 800 megabyte file size for a mod for weapons. The mod adds to the game the SIG MCX to Fallout 4 in the workbench and will include full custom animations, custom model and textures, full compatible with Tactical Reload mod, three unique weapons are added with 26 custom sights, 26 custom stocks, 16 muzzles, 11 barrels, 14 foregrips, 7 pistol grips, 4 mags, 3 ammos, laser and flashlight, and multiple materials. Zlag's Weapon and Armor Pack I added this to the game as an option for mainly companions as I feel they play better with laser weapons and this mod adds in new variations for them to use, especially the alien ones. So the mod will add in an alien rifle, an alien laser gun, alien shotgun, a weapon called Old Tumbler, and some nuka balls for the Old Tumbler. It also adds in the Ranger Coat, which is a armor I'm wearing in the game. It's actually a variation of the NCR Veteran Ranger armor, which we looked at earlier. And yeah, I really like this one. It gives all of your companions the option to use laser weapons, and I definitely think that's the best option for them in-game. Lastly, we have a couple of new weapons for my main character called Hunting Revolver and the M1 Garand. I also have one-handed revolver equipped. The Hunting Revolver and unique variant, the Ranger Sequoia, return to the Wasteland from Fallout New Vegas along with a host of new modifications. By default, the Hunting Revolver and Ranger Sequoia use .44 ammo type, however the Fallout New Vegas version used 45 to 70 caliber, so if you have the Far Harbor DLC, please download the non vanilla version. Either way, they will both hold 5 rounds. In terms of modification, the Hunting Revolver has a receiver upgrade, chain similar to the vanilla 44 revolver along with several grips, scopes, barrels and muzzle options. The Ranger Sequoia cannot be modified, but by default does more damage than a max upgraded hunting revolver and reloads faster. Currently the hunting revolver will appear for legendary enemies in certain loot caches after level 20 and in specific vendors after level 30, for example Cleo in Good Neighbor. You can also find a hunting revolver at the top of the tower in Lynn Woods, and the Ranger Sequoia can be found in Kellogg's house behind his bed. Lastly, we have the M1 Garand mod adds into the game with M1 Garand. The M1 Garand spawns on gunners or at vendors around level 17. You can equip a bayonet to it if you want to, and the bayonet will spawn on gunners, traders, and vendors at level 13. There's also two legendary variants of the gun placed in the world called the Machine and Blue Betty, but you will have to find them on your own while exploring. So there we have it guys, some of the best player and companion mods for improving their looks, their weapons, their armors as well, and I've also included a modern version and something more akin to the vanilla game as well. If you want to see more Fallout 4 mod videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.